that f of x is equal to 1 over 6x and g of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. This time, we are going to evaluate g of f of negative 2. So what does this mean? This tells us that we have to put down the g on the outside, and then the inside, it has to be f of negative 2. And then we have to work this inside out. Therefore, we have to figure out what f of negative 2 is first. That means we have to plug in negative 2 into this x in the f function. So let's do this. So we are going to see what f of negative 2 is first. And that's the same as saying 1 over 6 times the x value, which is negative 2. And that's what we have. Well, 1 over 6 times negative 2 is the same as negative 2 over 6. And we can reduce this, divide the top by 2, divide the bottom by 2. So we have negative 1 over 3. Okay. So this is going to be g of the inside will be negative 1 over 3. And then how can we continue this? This is going to say we are going to plug in negative 1 over 3 into the g function right here. So instead of all the x right here, we have to plug in negative 1 third. So we are going to have, let's see, this is x squared, so we know we are going to end up with negative 1 third to the second power, okay, and then minus the 4 times x. So put on the 4 and then open the parentheses times the negative 1 third instead of the parentheses like this. At the end, we have the plus 3. So this will be the setup, and now let's just work this out. So I would not show you a calculator, because if you want to use a calculator, you can just totally punch this onto a calculator, but let me show you guys how to do this without a calculator. Anyways, negative one-third to the second power means negative one-third times negative one-third. We will have positive one over nine. And then this and that together, negative four times negative one over three. Negative times negative becomes positive, and then this is at four over one. So we can do 4 times 1 on the top over 3 on the bottom because that's 1 times 3. At the end, we have plus 3. Well, we are adding fractions. So let's look at the 3s, three, 3 over 1. And then we have to get a common denominator. Well, we have 9, 3, and 1. So we have to produce 9, right? So let's see. For the first one, we have 1 over 9 already. That's good. For the second fraction, we have 4 over 3. 3 times 4 will be 9. We'll have to multiply the bottom by 3, likewise do the top by 3 as well. Here we have 3 over 1, but then I want to change the 1 into a 9. Well, 1 times 9 will be 9. On the top, we do the same. So here we are going to get 1 over 9 plus, well, 4 times 3 is 12 over 9 plus 3 times 9 is 27 over 1 times 9, which is 9. Okay, everybody has the same denominator now. So we can just combine all the fractions and the denominator will stay the same. We just need to add the top together. This is 1 plus 12 is 13. 13 plus 27, it will be 40. And 40 over 9, we cannot reduce this fraction any further. Therefore, this right here will be the answer. So be careful with um, the order. Here we have g of f. So we do the g first, we put it down, but then you actually figure out what f of negative 2 is first. Okay, so do this inside out, and it's different than the first question that we did. Anyways, that's it.